In this video, we're going to learn how to use layers to animate more than one object on the same stage. Down here in my timeline, you will see that this is called layer 1. On there is my stick map. Now, I can hide that layer by clicking the dot underneath the eye, so I can make him disappear. You'll see there's an X and he's gone, and then bring him back. Or I can lock that layer, and if I lock it, that means I can't break it, I can't change anything on it by accident. When you start using layers, it's important to name them so that you understand what you, uh, what piece of animation is on each. So I'm going to go to layer 1 here, I'm going to double click that, and I'm going to call it Stick Man 1. So now I know that on that layer is my Stick Man. Down here, there's a tiny little button, bottom left, that when you hover over it gives you the tooltip New Layer. If you click that, it'll pop you, unbelievably, a new layer in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all these white frames. These white frames mean that this layer is empty, it's got nothing in it. I can still see the stick map, but if I hide him, you can see that layer 2 is completely empty. So I'm going to drag, click and drag across all the layers, just on layer 1, not on the stick map, just on layer 2 rather, not on the stick map layer, except for the first one, I'm going to leave that blank. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove frames. That takes me back to my starting frame here. So I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to lock my layer one up completely so I can't edit it by mistake. Now I'm going to click in that first frame on layer two and I think I'm going to draw a stick dog. So I'll get my brush tool again and I'll use my artistic talent. As you can see, I am fantastic at this. So there's my little stick dog thing, give him a little nose. Like so. Maybe a little mouth. There's my superb stick dog. Again, go through the process. So back to my selection tool, drag all around him, F8, make him a symbol, call him stick dog like so and click OK and then I can animate my stick dog just like just like I animated my stick man using a motion tweet let's unhide my stick man there now watch this if I unlock my stick man layer as well I can pick him up and you'll notice it kinda goes behind the stick dog that's because my stick man layer is underneath my stick dog layer here in fact I need to rename that so I'll call it stick dog like so so my stick dog layer is above my stick man layer so my stick dog goes across the front of my stick man like that if I can if I click and drag my stick dog will go behind my stick man it's kind of difficult to see because they're both black and white um, but I might show you if you call me over it I might show you how to fill these in so you can add a bit of color to the body and so on um, so, you would animate your stick dog just like you animate your stick man. So your challenge is to have a play with layers, to name them correctly, and to see how many different objects you can get animating on the screen at once. Off you go.